everyone. This is Joseph with JN Unique Z Designs. I know it's late night here, dark in Colorado, and I just wanted to come to you to um, play with some new Distress Ra Ranger Distress Mica stains that I just received from the Tim Holtz's new Christmas line. And so I'm grateful that you are tuning in with me. Please like and subscribe to my channel as I will come out with more videos for you in the near future. But in the meantime, um, I know it's late, so let's go ahead and turn the camera around and we'll get started. All right, everyone. So um, I mentioned to you, I got these um, new uh, Distress Mica stains for the Christmas release here. Fresh Balsam, Merry Mint, uh, these just came in today, and uh, uh, Winter Frost, uh, Shiny Bobble, Cocktail Party, and Tart Cranberry. I just got these in the mail today. Um, these are uh, Tim Holtz and Rangers uh, Distress Oxides that were just released for the Christmas season. Um, because if you remember last year, he released a few uh, colors and then this year they're doing the special again. And again, keep in mind that these specials, once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, so get your hands on them now um, because uh, they're so limited. Uh, and I'm, as you can tell, as you can see, I'm opening them for the first time. I haven't even done that yet. That's how new these are there. So I wanted to go live to share this with you, share this experience with you because um, I want to, I have some uh, mums from Honeybee that uh, I've been working on and I wanted to play with these immediately. And instead of me playing with them and then sharing with you, I thought I'd play them live with you on my channel. So while I'm un unpackaging these and making a mess over here instead of finding an easy way to do this. Um, uh, take this time, if you haven't already, to please do like and subscribe to my channel. Um, and uh, I will have more videos, as I promised, to for you to watch and enjoy and have some fun. It is, uh, crafting is very soothing for me. And uh, so I hope it's soothing and helpful to you as you know, we are a tight knit community is what I firmly believe we are. Um, and so uh, the other thing is, uh, in the description box of the um, this video, there's a uh, link for you to per make purchases with these items. And uh, if you can, please uh, use that link because nothing affects you, no points, no shipping, nothing, nothing affects you, but uh, it just helps with sponsoring me and um, it, uh, allows me to be supported uh, and I get a share of uh, the purchase back so that it helps support my channel. So, um, you know, whenever you watch these videos from artists, uh, they, you know, they, they make their livelihood off of this. Uh, and so uh, it's it's very nice of you to consider doing that for, uh, for me and for other artists out there. Um, it means a lot to us, you know, as we spend time to Try to do good things for you and so if you can help us out that would be great so i'm gonna take a i'm gonna shake these real quick because as i mentioned they are all brand new What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a um, white piece of paper though first, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, color that so you can see what it looks like. So let's take a piece of Elizabeth Craft Design soft finish cardstock. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray each one of these colors on there just so that you can see uh, what they look like. So this first one is a fresh balsam. And then the second one here is shiny bobble. So let's do this. Shiny bobble. 
The next one after that is Winter Frost. Ooh, I like that color. The next one is Merry Mint. I like that color too. The next one is Tart Cranberry. Oh, that one's very nice for florals. I might have to use that one for mums. And then the last one is Cocktail Party. Hmm, I like both of those. Those for mums, and then I might use the um, fresh balsam. Yeah, let's do that. Use the fresh balsam um, for the rest. And I know that you're thinking, really? That's what you're gonna do is waste that? I'll turn that over just because I've been using this for so long. I'm gonna place all of my um, I'm gonna place the centerpiece for my honey bee stamps here off to the side a little bit because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two colors just to get a nicer flowing. So I'm gonna take that, take that. Okay, so the lighter of the two is this uh, cocktail party. So I'm gonna lay my flowers in my spray box and I'm just gonna go. Just like that. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna take my heat gun, my little Tim Holtz heat tool here, which is, uh, and then I'm gonna dry it a little bit. So. I'm just gonna dry this up. I really do like the way that turned out. It's very nice. And it's drying up very nicely and the colors are very shiny. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see the mica flakes um, starting to come through, so. Give me a second here and I will hold it up to the camera and you'll be able to see it just like I am. So I want these extra dry because uh, what I want, what I'm gonna do with them is I'm gonna put some foam dots in the middle of them and make them into like a layer flower today. So that should be dry enough. That looks, uh, so you can see the mica stains with the, the spray feature in there. I don't know if you can see that clearly, but I can see it very clearly from my end. And I like the the fact that it has the blotch white in there and it's not completely um, covered because that gives you a nice outlook on things. And then I'm gonna put, bring in my box again. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these center pieces down, just close in vicinity so I'm not wasting the paint. Um, and then I'm going to spray this it's exactly there. I don't have a Kleenex in my vicinity or a paper towel. How is that that I forgot to, cra to grab a paper towel? What I need to do is I need to put a roll of paper towel next to it. Because, uh, That'd be the best thing. Okay. All right, take these out. And then once again, I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. I'm gonna take some of these um, leaves from the mums and I have three of them. I'll place that in there. And then I'm gonna take the fresh balsam here in my box. And I'm gonna spray that. So it's covered nicely. 
That's perfect. Take that out, and I'll put it right off to the side here. And then um, I'm gonna do a a uh, a blue, I think. Let's see. I'm gonna pull out my palette here and see what colors I have. That merry mint looks cool. I think I like. Uh, Hmm. Let's just stick with that. Or, let's see. I really do like that winter frost and that uh, that shiny bobble. This one is the shiny bobble here. I like how that turned out. Let's do a mum with that. Let's do a blue mum. I know, I know. You're probably tired of me sharing that with you. I like to set the center pieces off to the side because I use a darker color for that. Let's do this. Put that in there. And then I'm gonna use the, this is the shiny bobble. Shake it up nice and well. Take that out. Perfect. Take these out. them dry I will put a, a heat tool to these in a little bit I just wanted to spray all of them at the same time um, and then what I'll do is I'll come back and heat them all up at once so it's easier so I'm gonna place those in there and then I'm gonna take a the winter frost check that up Good. Take that out of there. Set my box off to the side here. I won't need that anymore for now. As I say that, it's I'm gonna need it in a little bit. Watch me. I'm gonna take uh, my heat it tool and uh, apply a little bit of heat to these, just to help the drying along. So, it dries pretty fast, as you can see. Uh, the water from the mica uh, flakes go away really quick, and then what's left is the mica flakes itself. Let me uh, continue heating this. I know it's it's kind of boring watching me dry paint. Literally, dry paint. I'm trying to make it more interesting for you. But I don't know how. See, as I mentioned to you, I don't need my spray box. Guess what I need? My spray box. Because I didn't do leaves for the blue one. I didn't use that color. I didn't use the color that I was the last color, which is Merry Mint. So, I'm gonna shake it up while I'm holding this. So, last one to dry. This is the last two to dry. You can still see the water stain on there, just a tad bit. This one's all dry. I like the shines on these mica flakes very much, if you haven't noticed already. So, that should be good enough. Yeah, that should be good enough. And then, let me grab my spray box again. Because... One last final thing. I didn't get to spray this. So I got three leaves. And I'm gonna use the final color. 
The final color uh, is Merriman. So that's it. It's Merriman. Place that down here. What I'll do is I will take the, the heat tool and heat it up. So now you have all of uh, Tim Holtz's winter release colors on my screen here, on my uh, work surface. Every single one is on my work surface. So the six colors, there are six colors being used, six colors demonstrated. Which one's your favorite? Comment in below. If you comment below, you can. If you comment below, maybe uh, what I'll do is I will run a, a prize for you, send a prize to you. You know, never know. Could happen. All right. So, as you know, assembling um, florals from Honeybee is very simple. And literally, I'm just taking some foam dots. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for a spot where all these florals match. That looks like a good spot right there because the petals match and line up. So I press it down, that's one. And it's from the largest piece to the smallest piece. So you just take whatever piece you have and you just look for what lines up. So here, look, that looks like it lines up nicely. See, this one looks like it goes here just because as you can see the petals all line up and they're designed to line up so that's that piece and I'll take this final piece here so let's see no that doesn't look right that does. So what you're looking at is I saw these petals and these petals all matched. So that's why you get there. And I'll take my glue. And I like the top of these flowers because the bottom has already been um, popped up. I like to always take the bottom and uh, I'll place it into the flower by gluing it flat to the top. Place that right on there. There's my blue mom. And let's do the same thing with the pink one. So the next, this is the largest. So I'll take this. This is the next largest. And I'm just gonna look for the shape that these match. So I've already done enough of these that I know I can recognize a little bit of the pieces here. Um, and so this piece and this piece right here, and that piece and that piece right there, if you look at the petals, they all line up. Let's see. Take another piece of the foam dot. <laughs> right there. Yep, the petals match. So, place this in here. Let's see here. This is right there. Perfect. Last piece. And then glue the 
rest of this arm. So there we go. What I'll do then, there we go. So those are my mums. If, I don't know if you can see it pretty clearly, but what you can do then is because these are popped up on foam dots and take my finger and I can pull these petals up just to give it a little bit more of dimension, a little bit 3D there, as you can see how they, they just fold up nicely. And I'm using Elizabeth Craft Design soft finish cardstock uh, because it's some of the best cardstock out there. It is the best cardstock out there. I will take that back. See, so now you have a flower, a 3D mum. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm just, in, I'm just taking my fingers, as you can see, and I'm just pulling up the layers. I'm not doing anything bad. This is where I got my idea from for when it comes to the uh, flat layers, the flat flowers, you know, without shaping, no shaping flowers. There you go, there's that. And then what I'll do is I'm going to lay some leaves in there, as you can see. Do that, and maybe one more down here. See, and then I'll do the same thing over here. Lay this down, lay this down, and lay this down, like that. There we go. We have two flowers that are ready for cards. So... Thank you so much for watching the short video with me today as I have received that. And I'm going to put these on cards. And then if you're on Facebook, um, go like my page and follow me there on Facebook for the final photo of these projects. And um, uh, like and subscribe to my channel because, it, again, it, it helps me with the, the creation of more videos. So thank you so much for your time and uh, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.